You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry and by the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. Minor Family Dentistry would like to bring you the following dental health tip. It's recommended to have a dental checkup no later than your child's first birthday. An adult should brush for a young child and monitor older children's brushing to ensure a good job is done. Flossing should start when teeth are touching. Minor Family Dentistry wishes you good dental health. Families, including children of all ages, are welcome. Minor Family Dentistry, 1010 Downing and Hayes. Find them in the next tech directory. So, you think you have skeletons in your closet? skeletons out of the closet. Hello, and welcome to You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. My name is Dana Stanton, and I'm the coordinator of the West Central Kansas Smart Start program. And with me today is Brandon Hines. Welcome, Brandon. Good morning. Now, first of all, tell us where do you work and what do you do there? I'm the Youth Services Librarian at the Hayes Public Library. Mm -hmm. And now, so what's going on at the library? There's always lots of stuff. That's a loaded question. But what's going on this month? Uh, this month we have uh, quite a few things going on. On the 13th, we are going to be having a Daddy and Me program at 10 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and encourage all fathers to come out with their young child and come in there. And we're going to do some programs with books. Um, we'll have a storyteller in there. And we're going to do a lot of other programs that day as well with food and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a lot of our regular scheduled programs going on there, too. Okay. Now, tell us a little bit, if you have someone hasn't been to the library, especially the children's area, what would you expect to find when you walked into the children's area at the Hayes Public Library? Well, we've been through a lot of changes in the last few months. Um, a, a lot of new staff has come in. We've also done a lot of reorganizing up there. Um, as far as materials go, we have... A uh, ton of books, of course, for the library. We have books specifically for um, kids all the way up uh, from, well, babies all the way up through seniors in high school up there on the youth services floor. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some board books for the, for the really little kids. We also have some easy readers for those little bit older preschoolers. And then we have our, a huge picture book collection, um, nonfiction books. As far as our non-print goes, we have um, videos up there for uh, like in information for parents. We have um, entertainment type stuff. And again, the, the age range there is baby all the way up through high school. Okay. Now, I know my son's son, son sometimes goes there for the computers. You have computers there. We do. Uh, we have 12 public computers for the children. Uh, most of them are Internet ac accessible. Um, if you have a younger child, we also have games preloaded on there. We have just mm -hmm. software on there um, that's a little more age-appropriate for those kids. Um, even for the babies, we have those little toy computers for oh, those kids okay. to come in there. Okay. That's wonderful. Now, I know you have story time. Tell us a little bit about the story times. How often does that happen? How does that work? Well, we have about 13 different story time programs throughout the week. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have a lot going on up there. Um, for the full schedule, you, you can check out our website. Um, I'm really happy uh, about our new storyteller that we, we got earlier this semester. Her name's Dana. And oh, she, it's a beautiful name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And she does a wonderful job. She brings so much positive energy to it. Um, I've asked her to do way more than I probably ever should have. She just has taken this whole program over. Um, she's learned a lot this semester. She's getting better and better every week. She does it, too. And she just absolutely loves it. It's so cool to see that. Uh, but we have them for different age groups. Um, generally, they're Monday through Thursday at 10 o'clock. Um, we have one age group that's three to six-year-olds. We have two-year-old story times. We even have baby story times. We are going to change up our schedule next semester. We felt like we've learned quite a bit. Um, we kind of ran with what was in place this semester. But now that we've learned a little bit, we want to see, see a few changes happen. Um, but we're going to um, focus on babies next semester. We're also going to focus on toddlers and then preschool age. And we haven't finalized that schedule yet, but we will have some evening times. I'm even thinking about doing some uh, baby programs on the, every other weekend or something similar to that. Um, there's a program um, 
sponsored by the American Library Association called Every Child Ready to Read. This program's actually been around for about 10 years now, mm -hmm. and they're going to um, be making changes and releasing those changes. Since June, it said we'll be released this fall. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it's still not up yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm really waiting on that. It's a really good program, but I don't want to invest in any materials that are going to be updated sometime yeah. later this year. Yeah. So we're going to start using that program. Um, we really want to continue to add structure to our story time programs and really focus on the parents, because even if they come up for two or three story times during the week, we want to give them something they can take home, especially with those babies and those toddlers, something mm -hmm. they can bring home and use it there mm -hmm. in, in their homes. Now, I, this is a question I always thought. My, what if you have like a seven or eight year old? Do they get their own library card or do they have to use mom or dad's? No, they can come in and get their own library card. Mm -hmm. um, come up to the children's services desk. If mm -hmm. any kid goes up to that desk, teenagers go to the young adult desk and adults go to the other desk. Um, and there's something there for everybody. Mm -hmm. So if you bring a kid in for, a, say, a toddler program, we have other things going on up there, at least things up there to entertain mm -hmm. them. Okay, wonderful. Now, of course, it goes without saying all these services are free. Yes. <laughs> we always have to remember that people always come up there like, I want to rent this. It's like, well, you're not renting it. You're borrowing it. Yeah. yeah come up and get a free library card. Uh, any, uh, it's always open enrollment. You come up anytime and get a free library okay. card. What are the hours of the library? Uh, Monday through Thursday, we're open 9 to 9. Fridays, we're open 9 to 6. We're also open Saturdays 9 to 5. And then Sundays 1 to 5 during our winter hours. Okay. Now, Brandon, what if someone would like to get in touch with you to, to learn more information, maybe about a specific program? Do, is there a phone number or a website? Uh, yes, there's all those things. Yes. Um, you can get a hold of me on um, with my email at behinds at hayespublib.org. Um, also, you can give us a call at 785-625-9014. And then our website is www.hayespublib.org. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us today. You've been watching You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. Parents, remember you are your child's first and best teacher. Thank you. Thanks for watching You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You can watch the program weekdays in the noon and nine o'clock hours. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry and by the Sternberg Museum of Natural History.